For more on the path of the storm and how climate change is affecting the weather, yes, even when it's cold outside, we're joined by CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Tony. Good morning, everyone. We are sitting and waiting on a blockbuster snowstorm. It is underway, but it's going to get fast and furious soon here in Central Park. So far, we have around six inches of snow in total, probably 12 to 18 inches, but areas north and west are going to see a lot more snow. Take a look. You can see the coastal low developing convective snow. We may hear some lightning and thunder out there as those heavy bands begin to move northward. As we head through the day today, the heaviest snow around New York City, Long Island, into northern New Jersey is going to be during the morning and afternoon hours, and that will spread into New England, as you can see. Now, along the coast, that could mix with a little bit of sleet and rain, which would limit totals, but inland, it is all snow, and it's a prolonged event. Some places could see 36 inches, excuse me, 36 hours of snow, and yeah, it's possible some places will see over two feet, but I doubt we'll see three feet of snow. But it could happen in northeastern Pennsylvania. Look at that bullseye near Scranton, the Poconos, also northern New Jersey. Uh, that's anywhere from, you know, 18 plus inches of snow to maybe two and a half feet of snow. So there's going to be a lot of heavy snow, especially just northwest of New York City. OK, let's talk about what's happening. You know, why are we seeing this extreme weather across the nation right now? Well, it started two to three weeks ago with a sudden stratospheric warming. So above the Arctic, about 100,000 feet above the Arctic, we saw air temperatures warm about 100 degrees, and it all happened within around three or four days or so. So it warmed up really, really quickly. That throws the atmosphere off kilter. In addition, because of human caused climate change. The atmosphere in the Arctic is warming three times faster than the rest of the globe. So everything is discombobulated, if you will. And what we end up with is this very blocky, kind of squirrely jet stream, almost looking like a snake that causes blocks in the atmosphere. So the system in California got blocked and caused extreme rain and snow. And now this system is getting blocked here on the eastern seaboard, producing two feet plus of snow in some areas. And also climate change, a warmer atmosphere means heavy heavier precipitation, and so these blockbuster snowstorms. A lot going on on that map, Jeff yeah. Berardelli. Thank you very much. 36 hours of snow for some folks. We ain't seen nothing yet.